This is my favorite mini handheld, and let me tell you why. Play retro. So let's start with the unboxing. So this actually doesn't come in a box. It actually comes in this nice little case. Let me show you everything that comes inside this box. Okay, so inside this case, we get a little instruction manual. We get a little baggie, which houses our console, which we also get our console. We also get the world's smallest charging cable, USB-C to USB-A. Let me just show you how tiny this is. It's so, it's like comically small. It's like about six inches, super, super small cable to match our super tiny uh, handheld. You also get a nice little micro SD card reader. This is something you don't always get with these handhelds and it's a nice little a jester by Miyu. Uh, we also get a screen protector. It doesn't go all the way edge to edge, but it's nice that we have a screen protector included in the packaging. Also, one last thing, we also get a micro SD card. Uh, this is not the stock SD card, but this is my own SD card. We get a generic SD card with the, the console. And now a quick look at the case. So it says Miyu on it with this nice little logo. It has this cool little zipper kind of uh, badging, whatever it's called. Inside is nice and felt and soft. And then we have a little pocket to store all your stuff. So um, only thing about this case I don't like is that it's a little bit too snug. So with the corners kind of digging into the thing, sometimes it's very hard to pull out your handheld. <sighs> yeah, it's a little bit tough, but still it's very nice that we get everything here included with the price of the handheld. So yeah, unmatched value here. Play retro. Let's move this aside and let's actually have a look at the console itself. The first thing I want to talk about is the size. This thing is absolutely tiny. It's basically the smallest vertical handheld you can comfortably hold and actually functionally play on. It's basically the size of a Yu-Gi-Oh card. This is, you see this Yu-Gi-Oh card with a sleeve? Say hello to Slight of the Sky Dragon. This is an awesome card. But yeah, if, you, if I put this up against it, you can see it's just about a little bit bigger than than this, this card and it's not thick at all like it's a very very slim device i did want to bring some other household items you may have lying around just so you can visually see how big this is this is my samsung earbuds whatever they're called uh you know like little kind of earbuds and look how tiny this is or maybe a, a game boy color cartridge Super, super small, super tiny. Or how about a Game Boy Advance cartridge? Or maybe you have a uh, Nintendo Switch Joy-Con that's been destroyed by your dogs. Uh, <laughs> let me just show you how this is. So you can see how small and tiny and pocketable this thing is. Obviously this thing doesn't have a joystick so it's very, very pocket friendly. And basically that's the single most defining feature about the Miu Mini, it really is mini. So here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the newer mini handhelds, the horizontal, the Miu A30 and the RG28XX. I, I've reviewed basically both of them on the channel already. And here they are side-by-side. -side. Obviously this is not a one-to-one -one, um, comparison because these two are horizontal and this is a vertical. If you know me, you know I love verticals and I will explain why vertical is actually better for this form factor with this sort of screen. Um, and then later in the video, I do want to do a small comparison between these devices and show the pros and cons of each and why this is still the best mini handheld in my opinion. But stay tuned for that. That's going to be later in the video. Play retro. So now really quick, I do want to talk about the color options you have for this. The Miu Mini V4 actually has a new colorway. I will put that on screen. It is a yellow with all black buttons. It looks really, really nice. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get that one. I did get this retro kind of uh, DMG color. I know on camera it's a different color, but the gray here is actually more like a coffee or kind of brown color to it. And I will say that the plastic they're using on this newer uh, v4 is a little bit different than the plastic they used to use on the v1 the only reason i know that is because i had one of the original miyu mini pluses okay so here's my miyu mini 
Plus V1. If you can have a look at the plastic, you'll see it's a little glossy and it does feel a little bit like smooth kind of premium plastic. The new plastic they have on these new MiUs, they're very like matte and they are not as soft as the original MiU Minis. So you have a look at this. And I know somebody's gonna say, oh, but that's just the white model, blah, blah, blah. That's not true at all. I also have the gray model and you'll see, you see the shininess. It's actually my brother's that he gave to my nephew. So it's a little bit beat up, doesn't have a battery. Yeah, this is one that uh, hasn't been taken care of at all, but <laughs> you know, kids. And but you have a look at this one and you can tell the plastic is just different. It doesn't feel as nice as these, but what I've heard is they've changed the plastic to be more durable. So this should be more drop resistant. I'm not gonna test that in this video, but let me know in the comment section below if you wanna see a durability test. Maybe I'll, I'll put one of those together just for fun. But yeah, that's the reason they changed the plastic. It doesn't feel as good, but the buttons are exactly the same. Play retro. If, if you know anything about Miu and their kind of controls, they're just very, very good. Their D-pad is like second to none, really, really great D-pad. It's like kind of wide, but it has great pivot and it feels good. It's nice and soft. Their action buttons are glossy. They feel nice on your fingers. Um, nice, soft membrane. You have a menu button here that's used basically for everything. It's so, so useful. You know, nice little kind of clicky uh, start and select buttons. And then over on the back, this is my one gripe with this handheld. I wish these were actually all flush, but they're not. You can see there, the R2 is higher than the R, and that's good for, you know, to tell them apart. But at the same time, one issue this has is it doesn't lie flat without pressing the back buttons. So it creates an issue with this design. I wish it was just flat, like how it's done on the Miu Mini Plus. You can see like you can lay this flat and it doesn't touch the buttons. This one, if you lay it flat, it's pressing on the buttons. So that's one issue with these little buttons and they're also a little bit less ergonomic, but who cares? The games you're gonna be playing on this thing, you're probably not gonna be using the, the back buttons that often. But as far as color is concerned, I love this color. I love the DMG colorway. I have the white here as well. Uh, you can see it in the mini form as well. Um, there's also a nice transparent blue and there's also transparent black, which also looks very nice too. Play retro. Okay, so I did quickly want to brush over the specs of this thing because they're a little bit different than the V3 and the V2. Really, the main difference is the display, so we'll start with that. This is a 2.8 inch IPS display, OCA laminated with a resolution of 750 by 560. It is still close to a 4 by 3 aspect ratio, but it's not exactly like that. This actually has better scaling for Game Boy Advance. If you love Game Boy Advance, you're going to love this display. And at 2.8 inches, the screen looks very, very sharp. We're going to have a closer look at the display in a second. Moving on to our CPU. This is an ARM Cortex-A7 a dual core clocked at 1.2 gigahertz. So not really much under the hood, but that's the thing about the MiU Mini. It does so much with so little. That's kind of the beauty of this device. We also have 128 megabytes of RAM. For our battery, we have a 2000 milliamp hour battery rated for five to six hours with a asterisk kind of grain of salt. The actual battery life is a little bit less um, for my real world testing, but we'll get into that a little bit later in the video. For our audio, we have one mono speaker on the front. This, um, this device does not have Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or even HDMI out, anything like that. For our storage, this does have internal memory. I'll have to put it on screen how much internal memory this thing actually has because it does turn on without the SD card. Believe it or not, it's kind of crazy. Uh, it does have one micro SD card slot, expansion slot. On paper, it says 128 gigabytes supported expandable storage, but I've seen people put up to a terabyte in here, which is super overkill for something like this. But this thing also features a real-time clock. And another unique feature it has is a volume wheel. This is something you don't see on a lot of handhelds. But yeah, the glorious uh, retro volume wheel is featured on the Miu Mini. And that's it for our specs. Let's move on to the next segment. Play retro. So let's do a quick sound test with one of the best games ever created, Super Mario World. So this is max volume. See, it sounds very good. It gets fairly loud for a single mono speaker. Very, very loud. And I don't think the sound is going to win any awards, but it's it's very respectable. And I do enjoy the sound that comes out of this one mono speaker. Play 
backdrop. So this is a 2.8 inch uh, 750 by 560 display. And at this size at 2.8 inches, it is ultra crisp. And not just that, one of the things about this display is that it's just super black. Like if you see these blacks, they're near OLED. For an IPS, this is a very, very, very good panel. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause and here on the menu, you can barely see the black against the edge. If you, if I change the, the angle you can kind of see where the screen ends but when you're looking at it dead on you can barely see it barely barely see it and that's one of the best things about this panel the colors and the blacks are so 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 good now as far as the brightness and the dimness it's not the best here we have um, as you can see on the side this is peak brightness I'm gonna go ahead and lower it to its dimness at lowest dimness it doesn't get that that dim I think it's respectable for playing at night uh, or if you're trying to conserve battery. But even at peak brightness, I wouldn't say this handheld is very good for outdoors. I've used it outdoors and it doesn't look that great. But yeah, what it lacks in brightness, it makes up for in those deep blacks in really, really nice colors. This is one of the best panels I've seen on any of these retro handhelds. As far as like the color contrast and saturation, it's it's up there. Play retro. Another thing about the Miu Mini is that the screen actually scales better for Game Boy Advance. So as you can see, I'm here playing Pokemon Unbound. This is a Pokemon ROM hack, and I've been having an absolutely amazing time playing this thing. I've basically been using this exclusively as my Pokemon machine. So here I'm about to approach the uh, gym leader, but I wanna show you some of the features of, of Onion OS. This is what makes the Mew Mini so special. Now you, I just showed you the game switcher, so you can press this little button here and we can swap from game to game, whatever I've been playing basically. Let's say I wanna go back to Super Mario World. I can just quickly switch from one game to the other. And just like that, I resume right where I left off, right? So game switcher, super amazing feature, completely unique to this software called Onion OS, right? There's no other software that has this feature that you can just quickly um, switch games just like that, as fluidly as it is here, okay? Uh, another feature is this. So let's say I am, you know, I'm, I've been I've been battling all day. I'm super tired. You know, I just want to take a rest, go do something else, or maybe I have to go run some errands or something. And I'm t I, I need to stop playing, right? So, right, I can hold the power button, and just like that, it'll say saving progress. It'll make a quick save for me and shut down. As you can see, the light is off, right? Now I can slip this in into my pocket, this tiny, beautiful, super pocket-friendly device. Um, and if I don't want to do that, I can just put it in this amazing case it came in, right? Throw that in my bag, right? Now when I'm ready to play, right? Let's get this thing turned on. And just like that, I'm right back into Pokemon Unbound, right where I left off, ready to fight that gym leader. And this is the single most important feature of this handheld. This is what I call cartridge mode it's like really having a cartridge like in your old game boy you stick this inside and you're only playing that game that's what this is but with software and it's so freaking amazing it's a it's a game changing feature and that's why i've been playing this game exclusively like i'll just shut it down i'll i'll, I'll go about my business you know and then i'll come back and i'll play and i continue playing and it's just a it's such a good experience of playing these games because one of these things about these um uh, handheld emulators is that you have so much access to so many different games sometimes it's overwhelming and you don't give games enough time and attention they deserve right so the fact that we have this feature that we can just quickly just focus on one game and just spend the time enjoy the game play it how it's supposed to be played and have the best time is the reason the Miu Mini is so special so so good play retro now onto Onion OS. So this is the kind of user interface you get with Onion. Um, this is not the default stock. Onion is like the easiest thing to install. And, and actually the company who sent this to me actually sells Onion OS cards. So if you go to Lit NXT's website, they do sell an SD card and SanDisk, branded SD card, quality SD card, preloaded with amazing ROMs, an amazing collection. I'm actually gonna make a video just about that one build. The default, theme in Onion is very, very clean. So I go through here and I can just show you the menus and here we have our games and all our systems 
and when you click a, a system it'll go into your you know your games list you can also have box art if you like in the corner I personally don't like to on, on a device this size I don't like box art um, you also have a favorites and you know your app center you have all these different apps in here and what's in here boom we can change themes that's the beauty of this this handheld that you can customize it to your liking and not just use these you can also use your own you can create your own themes and then put them into your Miu mini and make this thing look however you want so we have a bunch of different ones in here we have retro rama we have some other stuff in here uh, we have some super mario themed kind of ones old computer kind of ones and we have a tech weave shout out tech weave actually in honor of this video i do want to make this the tech weave theme because this is his favorite handheld and it is his favorite handheld for a reason i understand why uh, he actually just made a video about reading books on this thing uh, of all the things you could do on this handheld he likes to read books on his miu mini which is so fun and different um, so in honor of tech weave we're going to actually install this theme and just like that you can see our whole ui has changed to this beautiful tech weave theme see it says favorites games it says instead of apps it says stuff super charming awesome theme and as you can see tech weeb really went out of his way to customize this basically completely i think he didn't do ds because at the time he made this theme uh we didn't have a ds emulator but that's pretty cool and yeah it's it's you can personalize this thing however you want you can also change the boot logo as well i haven't done that yet um because this is like the newest firmware i haven't found a way to do it but you can do it. You can change the the start the, that one image that you see when the device turns on. You can change that as well. This device is almost like an iPhone. It's so popular that there's a big mod community around this thing. If you look on the internet, I'm gonna overlay something on screen. You can get D pads. You can get really nice action buttons. All sorts of stuff. You can get probably new shells, um, stickers for your for your battery. If you have a transparent one, you can put like a battery. Um, you can put like a battery sticker to customize this thing. You can put stickers over where it says MiU. So many cool different things. Yeah, this this thing is like super, super loved. It's loved for a reason. So another thing people love about Onion is this, the activity tracker. So in here, this basically just shows you every game you've played for how many hours and how many minutes and how much average time, how many times you've played it and all sorts of stuff. I watched this one guy on YouTube. His name is Mano Oresto. Uh, go check him out. I'm gonna give him a quick shout out and he made a video just talking about why this is his favorite feature of any of these retro handhelds because he can't get this anywhere else. Like he likes to see how long it takes him to finish a game or how fast he can complete it. Maybe he does like speed running or whatever. And this is one of those things like you don't get anywhere else. This is a, a like an onion exclusive thing. If you're a person you want to track your game time or you want to see your history of what games you've been playing and for how long. You're not going to get that anywhere else. That's like really, really cool about the Miu Mini. Onion really is amazing software and it's really the bar that's like, that's been set. That's a stand that should be the standard for all these retro handhelds. Unfortunately, we don't get that anywhere else uh, besides the Miu Mini and the Miu Mini Plus, which is why a lot of people dislike this handheld, the Miu A30, because it doesn't have Onion. So that alone just kind of cancels it out. We don't want to talk about it. <laughs> So now let's move into the segment about comparing these devices and the pros and cons of each. So first of all, let me just start off this, this segment by saying I am biased to verticals, okay? I will always choose the vertical over a horizontal, especially with this one because we can use this with one hand, okay? And now let's talk about the individual pros and cons of each, okay? So of the three, the one with the best controls, in my opinion, is actually the Miu A30. The Miu A30's controls, I think, are the best as far as like the shoulder buttons and how this feels. Obviously, it's horizontal and we have a joystick. So of the three, the Miu A30 has the best buttons. The buttons on the RG28XX are way too small. Um, they have the best feeling like how you press them they have that ambernic membrane which feels very very good and the ambernic plastic but these shoulder buttons are horrible the menu button placement is horrible 
um, these buttons are just too tiny like if just size comparison to this is just not enjoyable to use so cont control wise this is kind of a nice middle ground even though it's in a vertical form factor so it's like not as comfortable but you can use it with one hand so I have to give it more points of the three the best controls are, are this one okay so let's do a quick screen comparison between the three of the three the rg20xx gets the brightest right as you can see the mios actually might be the dimmest of the three screens the other thing is that as you can see i just feel like the miu screen feels bigger than these as you can see this one's kind of inlaid in here and this kind of collects a little bit of dust right and then you have the <clears throat> the rg 28xx i don't know if it's the horizontal form factor but this feels smaller to me than it does on this one and obviously the the resolution is a bit, little bit higher on this one is that this one has a vertical screen so even when i adjust the volume you see this thing's like in, incorrect there's no software fix for this for for whatever reason it's kind of stupid this screen is kind of like anti-glare kind of it's not as like uh, glossy as this so the colors look a little bit better than they do on this panel for whatever reason okay now aside from that so this does not have onion and this has a few software options of the three the best software experience you're going to get is the miu mini with onion os aside from that let's talk about connectivity if you're a person you like wi-fi the only one with wi-fi is this device okay so if wi-fi is important to you the only option you really have is the a30 what this does have is hdmi out so if you want to connect to a tv and hook this up and use this as a little controller you can do that with the 20xx the miu mini doesn't have any of this it's just a console it's just play in your hands you can't connect it to your tv you can't have wi-fi um so that's that's kind of a drawback you get with the miu mini but i feel like for a console this size that is not really that important um as far as hdmi out i i appreciate the feature but i have so many other handhelds that can do that already i don't need another one and then as far as wi-fi as soon as you set up your your console i feel like you don't really need it that much at least for me i'm not a person i use um a lot of wi-fi features like maybe i'll update my my onion os every every so often or something like that or <clears throat> you know but i don't really use like things like retro achievements and stuff like that i feel like as soon as my console is preloaded and i have everything i want i don't really use anything else that i need wi-fi for to be honest so wi-fi is not really important for me on a handheld this size so another con of this handheld is that it gets warm like even right now i've just had this thing on for a, a a few minutes and the device gets warm right these two handhelds don't suffer from that um problem another thing is the battery life of the three the one with the best battery life is the rg 28 xx this thing feels like it's gonna last forever um and then and then between these two i think this one still has more uh, better battery life than this one it's, that just comes down to battery size so this is a 2600 milliamp hour battery but the CPU gets warm and it drains it faster, but it's still a little bit better than the Miu Mini. The Miu Mini's battery life is about three to four hours on average. If you're playing with normal settings, your person, you probably play with the maximum brightness and you probably keep your volume around like somewhere in the middle, you know, at a normal uh, volume, you're going to get maybe three to four, maybe five hours on the miu mini compared to these devices so if, if battery life is the biggest concern for you the rg28 xx is the way also the build quality of the three the one with the worst build quality is the miu a30 unfortunately the way it feels it just doesn't feel as premium even these buttons they're not glossy they don't feel like this and the one with the best build quality the rg28 xx like the plastic on this one feels the best uh and the buttons feel the best but it is kind of makes noise this one makes a little bit of noise and this one's kind of quiet but this one's this one still has but this one still has problems with just build quality in general it just doesn't feel as great as uh, as this one or this one okay so between the three as far as build quality is concerned i'd say one two and three another thing is the audio experience with these handhelds you sometimes will block the audio with your thumb because of the placement of the speaker grill 
So you kind of have to hold it in a certain way so you don't block it. I find that kind of annoying. The same thing with the RG28XX. This is something I mentioned in my review. This is something that would constantly happen to me while I was playing. I would block the audio with my, with my finger. <clears throat> With the Miu Mini, this is not something that happens to me because of the way you hold this handheld. Like, yes, you could hold it like this and still block the audio, but most of the times your fingers are up here, so your, your, your thumbs are naturally over here, not blocking the audio. Um, as far as performance is concerned, both of these are a little bit more powerful than the Miu Mini. However, they're not that much more powerful. 28XX has the burst performance of the three. Um, all overall, it has the H700, so it has all that CPU power can play Dreamcast N64 and a little bit of PSP and that sort of thing. But for a handheld this size without a joystick, it doesn't even make sense. I personally would only use this sort of handheld for things like Game Boy Advance emulation, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, um, you know, any of those handheld systems that would look great on a display this size. For those bigger systems, everything's gonna get squinty. And even those 3D systems that you need a joystick is not going to be ideal on these handhelds. So I think the case use makes more sense to have the Miu Mini. All those things aside, the Miu Mini still performs. It still runs really, really well. It's not as powerful as this one. It doesn't have the best battery life, but it does have the best software. It has a really great screen. It does everything right. Um, it has this really cool volume wheel. Another unique thing it has that these handhelds do not have is an accessible battery compartment. So if you ever want to do like a hot swap, you have multiple of these batteries, you can just switch them out. Or in the future when this battery eventually goes bad, you can easily swap it out for a new one. So that's a, a, a pretty cool feature of the Miu Mini. So of the three, despite this one having Wi-Fi and this one having better performance and a way longer battery life. I love the Miu Mini for what it is. For one-handed use, because of Onion, because of the deep black inky screen, because of the form factor and having a vertical device with the screen on top. That old classic Game Boy feel. You don't get that anywhere else than the Miu Mini. Okay guys, so let's sum up this video with a quick pros and cons list. I'm gonna give you my final thoughts on this handheld, who I think it is for, and we're gonna give this thing a rating. So let's start with our pros. For our pros, first of all, it's really small. It's ultra portable. It's one of the only handhelds you can actually use with one hand. At the size this thing is, about a deck of cards, you can literally put it anywhere. It doesn't have a joystick. It's you, the perfect pocket companion. Look how easy this fits in there. I'm personally not a person that usually has space in my pockets for stuff, but this is one I can definitely make space for and probably gonna be part of my everyday carry uh, moving forward. The second thing is I really like the screen, even though the screen has uh, kind of a different kind of awkward resolution, you know, the software has kind of optimized it and, you know, made, made positives out of kind of a different resolution we're not really used to seeing in these uh, handhelds. But for what it is, uh, IPS screen, the blacks are pretty black. The colors are really good. And I think it's an adequate screen for the price of this handheld. The controls, really, really great controls. Um, makes the most out of the real estate this handheld has. There's no wasted space on this handheld. Aside from these little shoulder buttons, with, which we'll get to in the cons list, uh, the, the controls are, are basically near perfect. You know, I gotta mention software. Onion OS is literally the most user-friendly custom software that we've had on any one of these retro handhelds that really elevates the, the user experience with features like a game switcher, cartridge mode, activity trackers, a video player, music player, a bunch of stuff I didn't even cover in this video. You know, Onion is amazing, amazing. All the people that worked on Onion really deserve a lot of props for what they were able to accomplish. Uh, the, the lines of code they wrote into this software is like actual gold and has brought so much enjoyment to so many different people. For what it is, even though there isn't too much under the hood, the Miu Mini still performs well up to PS1 and even some DS, which is kind of impressive for a handheld this size. The CPU this thing is rocking is definitely no slouch. And, and for everything this device attempts to play, it accomplishes it really, really well. I wanna praise the volume wheel. 
why don't we have more volume wheels? That is a major pro for me. I love this little volume wheel. I don't know how much it adds for you, but you know, there's something about just having a retro design. This is something that was only found on like a Game Boy Color. So, you know, it's it's got those design points. It, it really does feel like a Game Boy. It feels like a retro device. You know, these lines on the back, you know, accessible battery compartment, um, the, you know, the, the vertical orientation, the very simple kind of clean design, the little, you know, little notch down here with the speaker and the volume wheel. Just amazing, amazing design. And I love the design of this thing. No wasted space. And now for the cons. The very first con and probably my biggest negative about this handheld is actually the battery life. This thing only has a 2000 milliamp hour battery. And that's kind of like a downside of using a handheld of this size. There's only a certain size battery that fits in something like this. And that's where like this thing kind of loses points for me because it only lasts so long a device like this you shouldn't be playing for so long but as someone like myself where i try to you know get through an entire game and you really have to stop to charge the battery i get so fun but you have to stop to charge the battery it sucks i mean on, on one hand um because the battery is a little bit smaller it does charge faster but it's just like ah, uh, i just i wish i could keep playing a little bit more unfortunately that's kind of one thing that this device suffers with and um another thing is these shoulder buttons like sometimes i do want to just lay it down on the table and like play it kind of like a laptop i don't know if that's weird or if it's just me but I, I can't do that with these stupid shoulder buttons always touching the thing and like fast forwarding and accidentally saving and doing stuff like that you know it's 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 not it's not cool another con is kind of the change in the material they use for the plastic it definitely doesn't feel as nice or as premium of as what I've seen from you before. Um, I, I hope it's for the better. I will have to do some like long-term testing. Maybe I'll drop it by accident. We'll see uh, if it does last a little bit longer, but from, from what I'm seeing right now, it feels a little bit worse than what I'm used to from you. And then my last and final con is the lack of Wi-Fi. I feel like this is version four. I feel like they could have put a Wi-Fi module or a Wi-Fi chip in this already and just we've been done with it. You know, I feel like a lot of people would have been happy with it. And then for the people that don't need Wi-Fi or don't want it, they can just always keep it off. So um, I'm, I'm not sure why on version four, they still don't have Wi-Fi. I mean, I personally don't care, but I know a lot of other people that do care about that. You know, people that like retro achievements and sync thing and all those different things uh, that they can do with Wi-Fi, they can't do it with the Miu Mini. So they opt for the Miu Mini Plus. Um, it's, it's a small thing, but it's still a con. Yeah, guys, when I look at the Miu Mini, um, to me, it represents everything this, this hobby is about. It's a charming little device. Be your companion throughout your days, you know? It's a handheld that has peaked. It's a handheld that's not new but it's a handheld that is successful, a handheld with really great software and really great hardware. And those two combine for a really, really great user experience and a handheld I can easily recommend to anybody. The Miu Mini for me gets a solid nine out of 10, highly recommend for anybody wanting a mini device. This is the one to get. And with that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I did have a lot of fun putting it together. Um, I did also want to show myself on camera. I know I'm not always the one. I know I never show my face on this channel for the most part, but I didn't want to throw it in at the end just for fun. And uh, you guys can see me now. So there's no uh, secrets or who is this guy talking behind the camera, blah, blah, blah. You guys, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. What's your favorite color Miu Mini? What's your favorite game to play on your Miu Mini? You don't have a Miu Mini. Are you interested in picking one up? Also, if you are considering picking one up, please consider picking it up from my favorite store in the world, Lit NXT, the people who have been supporting my channel for a while now. I will leave links in the description below if you'd like to pick one up from them. Of course, these links are affiliated and they do help support the channel a little bit if you guys want to support me. Basically, that's all I got for you guys on this episode of Play Retro. I hope to see you guys in the next video. And as always, thank you for watching.
I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.